In this lecture, we will learn about the simplest and precise way of writing a CNC program. The very first step in writing a program is the program number, which generally starts with letter O. Let's say we have to write 45th number of program, then we will write O45. This program number can go up to 4 digits, that is from 0 to 9999. The next step is providing the sequence number. In this step, we provide sequence number to the program. If for one particular operation we need different tools, we need a sequence for the same. Let's say N1 is the sequence for one sequence. The third step is cancellation command. In this step, we cancel some pre-existing commands in the system, like that of G40 series which is for tool nose radius compensation and G80 series. This is a precautionary measure to avoid any mishaps and accidents. But it is not mandatory, you can skip this particular line of code. The semicolon here is provided at the end of every line of program to end it right there. It is called end of block command. The next step is called machine home position selection. Our workpiece here has 50 units diameter. We have to make it 49 units for a span of 25 units from one end. Let's say our tool holder has four tools mounted namely 1, 2 and 3 and 4. If we need to select one particular tool to carry out the operation, we need to select machine home position first so as to give tool change command. This is however not required if the tool facing the workpiece is the desired one. Now for selecting machine's home position, we have command us G28 U0 W0. Now here U and W corresponds to the X and Z axis respectively for incremental command as per a CNC lathe and turning operation is concerned. We generally use incremental commands so that tool takes the shortest route to complete its operation and ultimately reducing the cycle time. The fifth step is tool and offset selection. The command for providing tool number and offset number is given by T0303 in which the first two digits that is 03 is the tool number assuming tool number 3 is used. And the next two digit 03 is the offset number. The next step or the sixth step is setting up the spindle. If the hand of tool is left and propagation of tool towards workpiece is also leftward, then M03 command will prevail. Whereas, if the propagation of left hand tool is towards right, M04 command will prevail. Same thing goes for right hand tool as well. However, in case of a neutral hand tool, either M03 or M04 can be used. As we know that M03 is for clockwise rotation of spindle and M04 is for counterclockwise rotation. That is the reason why for leftward motion of a left hand tool, M03 command is applied and for rightward movement of a left hand tool, M04 command is used. And same thing goes for right hand tool as well. Hence, in this case, left hand tool is propagating leftwards, so M03 command will be used. We have to provide a spindle speed as well, for which command starts with S. So a speed of 1800 rpm is provided by S1800. The complete command here is given by 
M03 as 1800 end of block. As soon as spindle setup is done, machine has started operating and hence coolant is required. So in this step, we are going to do the setup for coolant. We will switch on the coolant using command M07. In the next step, we are going to position the tool. The tool here will start with this phase and the required dimension here is 49 units. The tool will have rapid positioning first and hence G00 command will be used. G00 X49 Z 2.0 would be the complete line here. 2.0 unit depth has been taken for initial cut in the z-axis. The next step is the interpolation. In this step, we decide the deciding command between G01, G02 and G03. G01 is for linear interpolation. G02 is for clockwise circular interpolation and G03 is for counterclockwise circular interpolation. Since linear interpolation is seen in this case, we will use G01. And the complete command would be G01 X49 Z minus F 0.2. In the next step, we will retract the tool. This step is also known as tool return home. We will simply select machine home positioning selection command to return the tool home. That is, we are just repeating the fourth step here, G28 U0 W0. In the next step, we are going to stop the spindle as well as the coolant. Because we have got the desired outcome. We can now stop the spindle using M05 command followed by coolant by M09 command. Now to end the program, we have two choices, M02 and M30. Command M02 completely stops the program, whereas M30 stops and rewinds the program. So it's recommended to use M30 always unless otherwise. This lecture has covered the most basic way of writing a CNC program. It may differ slightly by what we are going to learn in the next lectures, but the foundation remains the same.